Well, that's a really big question. And I, if I knew the answer to that, I'd probably be more wealthy than I am. I think the most important development will be outside capital coming into law firms. Uh, whether it uh, happens over the next five years, I think, is a, a much more difficult question. I take a, an apocalyptic view of things that when outside money comes into the profession, it will change uh, out of all proportion. But whether that will happen in five years or 15, I would hesitate to say. I think it's becoming increasingly clear that traditional law firms will no longer just compete against each other, but there will be a whole range of new entrants into the legal services market. And that's the real challenge to identify who's coming out and what business models they will adopt to compete with law firms. There's a lot of people talking about changing the way that they work. Not many people actually have changed yet. But I think that the, the environment, which has just been accelerated by the economic turmoil that we've experienced in the last couple of years, um, all of the other external factors like legal process outsourcing and um, re regulation will actually mean, and obviously technology as well, will mean uh, some fairly big changes to the profession. I think for me, the shift to have more different providers of legal services uh, in different types, different levels in the market, and the fact that the UK is opening up to that in a way that almost no other jurisdiction in the world is, makes this a, a, a thrilling place to be time to be in that all those opportunities that are opening up in the in the legal sector I think there's a uh, an opening up of creativity around how to deliver legal services and particularly whether there are partnerships that can be entered into with non lawyers which can help the efficiency and therefore lower the cost and improve the access to uh, legal services and also the profits for law firms. The most important development in the legal profession is going to be the way clients use their lawyers going forward and, and how the law firms are going to respond. I think when we come out of recession the shape of law firms is going to be completely different and we're going to be supplying services in a whole raft of different ways from the traditional um, law firm partner time right down to offshoring, onshoring, all the, all the other terms that are now so much part of the firmament. And I don't think the shape of law firms is ever going to be the same again. It's going to change enormously over the next few years. There are going to be new entrants coming into the market. There are going to be huge consolidation in the um, in law firms. There are going to be different ways of delivering uh, services, particularly uh, online and particularly uh, bulk providers are going to be entering the, the market. Important developments over five years, difficult to tell, probably, probably many, but I think what we'll really see is just a continuation of competitive pressures, some of it driven by the Legal Services Act and change in regulation generally, but probably just law firms doing things in very different ways as they seek to survive and make a profit. I think the most important new development in the legal profession over the next five years will undoubtedly be, um, be the change to ABSs. Uh, the introduction of ABS is into the profession um, and we've talked a lot this morning about how you, um, you generate a level playing field and how you ensure that the traditional high street firm isn't at a loss when the new entrants come into the market um, and I also think that the introduction of ABS is something that's, um, that is a tremendous opportunity for the firms that seek to, um, to seize it. Also oh, something that occurred to me when we were sitting in the session this morning was uh, how in the IT sector many years ago IBM uh, sat there happily with mainframes and didn't appreciate the changes that were coming down the pike even though they developed the PC they gave away the ownership of the, the desktop to Microsoft which ultimately became their biggest competitor and took over the world so I think unless the sector appreciates there are major changes coming down the road uh, some firms will be left behind. I think we're going to see a fundamental change in the structure of law firms uh, for all sorts of reasons. The Legal Services Act of course being a very important element of it. I think client demands, I think increasing competition and we are going to see significant changes. I think it is clear that there are two real drivers for change in the legal sector market. On the one hand there are market forces, a need to focus on what client needs, uh, your particularly trying to serve as opposed to just delivering what you think you do so listening to clients um, and the other of course is the imperative of the Legal Services Act and I think it's clear from the debate that everybody has lots of questions about that and nobody really knows what the answer is 
But I think it is very clear to me that the provision of legal services will in five years' time be done in a very different way to that which it is today. I know what I'd like to see. I'd like to see the regulators do a radical overhaul of education and training to prepare the kids coming through universities and coming through colleges like mine much better for the sort of uncertain environment that they're facing. Firms are going to have to re-engineer their business models because if they don't, they're going to buckle under the strain. There's going to be the need to introduce new capital for more effective technological working for capital needs and that in turn is going to require firms to introduce a much more efficient value for money service and that in turn is going to mean a change to the old charging ways the hourly rates dead. Well I hope what it's going to be and I represent the consumers of legal services I hope it's going to be a much greater focus on service standards so that not just do consumers get good law but they get it delivered in a way that is really meets their needs, is accessible, is done in a timely manner and is done at a good price so that they get good value for money. So I hope it will be much more responsive to users and also of course that the complaint system uh, will really be used so that we can get good feedback and improve the delivery of services. By the end of five years, we will be competing with the likes of Sir Terry Leahy, and if we don't get our act into gear, um, we, uh, we will be left behind.